Guys, it's girl Taylana and welcome back today or tonight. It's actually night. So, as a newly single woman, we are going to be talking about the reasons that I will always swipe wrong. <laughs> My dumbass just say swipe wrong on some instead of swipe right. Like the opposite of right is wrong, but it's also left. So, okay, I, bro, I'm off to a really bad start. <laughs> yes, it is true, guys. I am on Tinder. So if you guys, like, want to find me on there, then, like, <laughs> come say hi. I do have a Tinder. I'm not using it for unholy reasons. This is satire. This is a joke. For legal reasons, this is a joke. These are my personal views. Half of them are complete jokes, and the other half I'm completely deadass about, but like I'm not gonna distinguish which is which. I've seen way too many people I know on Tinder. I know you're supposed to swipe right on the homies, but like I really can't. Like I know everyone's just like, oh my god, like if you're social distancing, like why are you on Tinder? Like maybe I wanna meet like cool people, or like maybe someone that like, like can handle staying six feet away from me and like not putting my life in danger, you know? Just girly things. <clears throat> Anywho, also before I start, I know there's literally been nothing in this video so far to make you want to follow me on Instagram, but like if you guys are kind of cool and like want to see the pictures that are on my Tinder, then go to my Instagram. So here are the reasons why I swipe left on people on Tinder. Don't hate me. Maybe I can actually get a sentence out without sounding like an idiot now. Like, we'll, we'll test the theory. So we'll start off with the pictures. First off, looking like you wouldn't swipe back on me. I'm looking like you are too hot for me. I will not swipe on you. First off, someone had to say it. I'm not the first, but... We gotta repeat it. Just so the people in the back of the classroom can hear me. Men. Boys. Male children. If you post a picture holding a dead fish, I will not be swiping on you because I know it shows great character depth and a really amazing personality and of course skill and dedication in killing a fish, but it's gonna be a no from me. Sorry mate, I'm gonna have to swipe left on you. Second off, smoking. That's just, guys, it's 2020, are we still smoking? Is that just a thing that people are still, that's just not it. That's not where I wanna be. So if you are smoking in a picture, especially a cigarette, um, it will be a no from me. Thank you. I don't know if this is just me. I can't stand when all of the pictures are mere pics. That just like, I don't know why. Like, do you not have people to take pictures for you? Like, just like anyone else to take one picture of you. Like, do you really have to do like the fucking like... Like in the fucking mirror? Like dimly lit, like terrible smudged mirror. Like, that's just not it. Especially, oh my god, shirtless mirror pics. That's just like a different level of like, yikes. Save something to be desired. Not saying turn Tinder in your OnlyFans promotional account, but like I'm not a fan. I don't know why like mirror pictures just seem a lot more like sleazy than like a normal picture of someone shirtless. Shirtless pictures are fine if they're at like the beach or like the pool or something, but like just like in the mirror, just like <sighs> Like, I don't want to know what you did after that picture. Next off, baseball boys. Sorry, hate to slam, dunk on you, hit, hit a home run, not, not a hit a home run on you. I do not know. I have a lot of flaws, but getting my heart broken by a baseball boy will never, ever, ever, ever be one of them. Snapchat filters, can we just like, I felt like we all agreed that like those were just like a no. Like you don't do that. No one wants to see what you look like with like a skin clearing filter. Like no one cares. Like puppy filter, like get the f out. Unless it's the Shrek filter. I can make an argument for your case, but I, I feel like you'd still have to plead guilty like to using a Snapchat filter. Like it's just not it. Don't know if this is just me. Black and white pictures, no pun intended. Like real Fifty Shades of Grey vibe. Like you can literally be at like the fucking pool with your dog and be like, it would seem like overly sexy. I don't know. This one kind of I feel like goes without saying but then it clearly it doesn't because I have to say it So here we are at this angle Why is this cute like <laughs> What I look so bad I feel like they're giving an angle that I'm not gonna finish that sentence like down angles, but like super up angles like Facebook moms like those aren't it But I don't need double chin pics like I mean unless it's for a personality picture But like if you're just taking a normal picture like you I feel like you could take a better picture I felt like when I was in middle school back in 2013 rocking a f***ing not a bang like a 
flipped my hair over to one side of my head, and then put like a clip in a red streak in it and like panda eye makeup and like black lipstick, like that girl. She loved to use Instagram filters, the ones that came preset into your phone that you would never use in 2020. Instagram really did you dirty on that if that's like what you have to choose from. XX Pro or Valencia, fucking <laughs> like Jane Smoker's selfie ass picture, like mm, getting war flashbacks from seventh grade. Like here's a picture of me in middle school. You're so welcome these filters people use them still you have to be over the age of 18 to be using the apps so I would hope that no one in their 20s <laughs> would be using those sorry guys it's just like a little bit triggering me so like that's the only reason like I literally have no other problems with it other than it triggering y'all agree with me on this one I know like this one won't offend anyone if all your pictures are group pictures all of them I am forced to assume that you are the least attractive looking person in all of the pictures it will be a swipe left solely because one I have no idea who you are. I'm not going to examine every picture and be like, oh, their facial structures are looking rather similar in both these photos. I assume this is the man we are talking about. Didn't want to fucking pull out like a fucking James Bond like detective ass moment on Tinder, you know? Please have one picture at least by yourself so that people know who you are. Guys, I really have to call you out on this one and I'm sorry and you can, you can leave this video if you really get that offended by this one, but I swear I'm not the first to say it, but if you have a picture of your car, just your car, not you buy your car, just your car, it will be a swipe left because car guys are the equivalent of horse girls and you can't tell me otherwise because I will not believe you. <laughs> minus two extra points if they have a Jeep. Especially if it's a Jeep Wrangler, minus five points. Or like a sports car, like way to flex the money, but like also we're not on seeking arrangements. Like we're not trying to find a sugar daddy. I mean, some people, you know, if you want to find a fucking sugar daddy, like I'm not going to tell you no. It will be a swipe left because car guys, period. Sorry, I don't know if this is an Arizona thing, but um, cowboy hats, you gotta go. Rethink your fashion choices and then rethink about who you are gonna vote for <laughs> in the 2020 election. I just don't get along with guys that wear cowboy hats. Like, yeah, they're cute. Like, sometimes from a distance, if you like squint really hard. I don't get this. Ha not having their face in their pictures. Like, yeah, either you're cheating or you just don't like your face. Or like, you have like half your face in. Like, how am I supposed to know what you look like? Yikes. I really just like thought back to a video where I talked about like different types of Instagram pictures. I'll tag that up there. God, I hope it's not terrible. I mean, it is, but it's bad. If you have a picture at Hooters. I don't know what girl would find that like super appealing. Like, I don't know like what girl would be like, oh my god, he's at Hooters. Like, I bet he was really respectful of all the women, like, didn't treat them like objects. Oh my god. There's very few men that I could say could go to Hooters and, like, have a respectable meal and, like, not sexualize the servers and, like, be rude to them. Feel if you took a picture with them and you posted it on Tinder, you're not the most applicable candidate for a respectable man. This will not even get remotely an explanation at all, but it doesn't even need one. Making out with their dog, um, that's just, no one's gonna wanna kiss you after seeing that. So this one is, it depends on the execution. If someone is sticking their tongue out of a picture, now I'm not saying like a cute, like, if someone is sticking out a picture, like, I'm not sexy, I can't bite my lip, I literally look like a fucking idiot when I try to do it, like, you guys can visualize what I'm talking about. I'm just not the right candidate. Like, I can't do sexy faces. It's just a major yikes. Like, I don't know. I don't, I can't see a picture like that and be like, man, I would love to have an intellectual discussion with you. Okay, hate to say it, gun pictures. If you got a picture with a big ass gun, not interested. Um, I'm not trying to cuff a military boy and be a military wife at age 19. That is not the plan. Last but not least, if you're from Wyoming, I mean, I might swipe right just to see if I could meet the one person that lives in Wyoming, but other than that, I'm pretty sure that there is no one that's from Wyoming, and if you say that you're from Wyoming, you're lying. Okay, now to get on to the bio aspect of the video. You could be cute, but if you have a bitching bio, then it just brings it all together and makes you the full course meal. These are things that I will see in a bio and immediately be like, no, no, no. First off, it's not terrible to put your height in your bio. I put mine in it. I'm 5'10". I don't really care about height. Like, I would date someone shorter than me. The thing is, is guys more often than not do not want to date a girl that is taller than them. So I put it in to ward off all the boys that have that frail masculinity aspect. But if the only thing in your bio is just, I'm 6'4". Like, okay, you're 5'11 and a half. Calm down. You really stretched on that one, but you're close enough. Like, counting's really hard. Me, personally, just saying, I'm gonna hook up. I'm in town for the week. You know, hook up culture dude our generation is so fucked up in that aspect like we need to calm down for me that's just not it also if you say a business major i hate to 
I hate to say it, rap boy, fuck boy, energy babies. You will not catch me going out with a business student. I promise you that. You will not regret not dating a business major. <laughs> I can't promise you that all business majors are frat boys, but I can promise you that all of them will break your heart along with 27 other girls at the same time. And it's also just like a general, we all know, like we... You know what you're doing. <laughs> this is a personal thing. If your name is something like Luke or any name that starts with a J, I would really rather not get my heart broken by you. I have swiped left on boys solely because of their name before. <laughs> any name that gives me, I'm gonna break your fucking heart and like not even bad in an eye and I'll cheat on you real quick vibes like those. I might, I probably won't swipe. No offense, no, no harm done yet. I would avoid that harm. <laughs> Guys, comment below if you have gotten your heart broken by someone who has a J name. If you really think about it, I promise all of you have. But that is pretty much my complete list, my personal complete satire list, completely joking for legal purposes list of reasons I would swipe left on someone. However, I, I should give you guys a list of people I'd swipe right on. First off, Biden 2020, fuck Trump. If you're Republican, swipe left. Those things always Give me a connection. You're smiling in any picture. You know, it's not just all these pictures of you being like squaring up, you know? Give them a little like, yeah, a little razzle dazzle, spice it up. If you have a pet, um, like a cat, it's a yes. If you have a dog, it's probably a yes. If you have a pig, it's also a yes, or a bunny, it's a yes. But any pet will do. Although I did see one guy that had a parrot, and his picture was a picture with this parrot on his shoulder, and I felt like it was a little Chips Ahoy, like Pirates of the Caribbean vibes, and it wasn't my personal taste, but I um, do think there are people in the world that are looking for someone that has a parrot. If you have a parrot, don't feel discouraged because there is a market for men that have parrots on their shoulders. This one's a pro and a con, a personal thing. Um, let's skate. This is a pro because people that say that most likely have a nose piercing and y'all know me, I'm simping out here for the nose piercings. Usually good style. I don't know, I'm really into that like punk e-boy f***ing style. That's like not what they ever want it to be called, but like skater boy style. <laughs> I would love someone to go up to a skater boy and be like, hey, you're an e-boy. Like, it gets so triggered. However, a con would be that there's like a 179% chance, like 180% chance that they will break your heart. So I could be okay with that depending on the day, depending on my mood, you know, depending on a lot of factors. That's pretty much my list of the reasons I will swipe left on people and then a few things that I will always enjoy about people. And if you guys had any cool ass stories from your experiences on Tinder or if you are on some other different dating app or you want me to test out a dating app and let you know how it compares to Tinder, I was thinking about making that series, kind of like testing out like Tinder versus Bumble, Hinge, etc. You guys want more videos like this? Please let me know. I love you guys so, 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 so much. And I will see you guys next week. Peace. Damn, like I know. <laughs> I can't. I'm gonna, I almost called someone out. I wasn't gonna call him out, but I thought about it. How do I make this less direct?